to Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making a ginger tamarind steak. Here I have some steak which I have sliced thinly. I have some olive oil here, salt and pepper, some fresh thyme, some spring onions, onions, some finely chopped garlic, slices of ginger. Here I have some corn flour, baking powder, fish sauce. In here I have some water, honey, palm sugar, soy sauce, and some tamarind sauce. So let's get into it and start cooking. So the first thing we're going to do here is to season the steak. I'm going to add some garlic here. I'm going to add a tablespoon of the corn flour or cornstarch. I'm going to add some black pepper here. A teaspoon of baking powder. A teaspoon of fish sauce. I'm adding a teaspoon of honey here as well. So that's some honey in here. I'm going to add two teaspoons of the tamarind sauce here. I'm going to add a pinch of salt here. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of soy sauce. So I'm going to toss the seasoning into the steak here. I'm also adding some olive oil here. And I'm also adding a teaspoon of my homemade jerk seasoning here. Just for some additional Caribbean spice and flavor in here. I'm going to toss this in. So just getting everything seasoned nicely here. I'm now going to set this aside for 15 minutes just to allow it to marinate. So while my steak is marinating, I'm going to make a sauce for my ginger tamarind steak. So here I have some water. To the water, I'm going to add a tablespoon of corn flour or corn starch. To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of fish sauce, and two tablespoons of tamarind sauce. I'm going to mix this now until the corn flour is fully dissolved and there's no lumps in here. So this is just a sauce to add to my steak. So I'm now going to set this aside for later use. So that's the palm sugar. I'm going to use my knife to just shave the palm sugar here. I'm going to be using about a quarter of this block of palm sugar. So that's enough palm sugar for my use. So that's the palm sugar there. So now I'm going to start um, frying my steak. So here I have my pot with some oil and this pot is very hot. So I have my stove here on very high heat. I'm going to start frying my steak. So I'm going to add the steak to the oil in pieces because I don't want them sticking together. So 
I'm going to fry the steak on either side for about three to four minutes. So here you can see my steak frying nicely. I'm going to flip these over. Give them another three to four minutes on the other side. my steak from the oil. So now that I've finished frying my steak, I have removed the oil from my pot here. I'm going to add the palm sugar. So I'm just going to allow that to melt away into the pot. I'm going to have my slices of ginger in here. So now that the palm sugar has caramelized a little, I'm going to now add my sauce, which I have made to the pot here. I'm going to have some garlic, some chopped onions, I'm going to give this a couple of minutes now on medium heat just so that the flavors can generate into the sauce. So now that my sauce is steaming down nicely here I'm going to add just a couple of sprigs of thyme in here, just for additional flavor. So now I'm going to return my steak to the pot. I'm going to add the steak now to the sauce. So I'm going to give the steak about three minutes here. So I'll just leave the steak there and the stove now is on medium heat. So I'll just leave the steak there to simmer into the sauce for about two and a half to three minutes. So after about two and a half minutes of just simmering my steak into the sauce here, I'm going to add my spring onions which I've chopped. Now I'm going to turn my stove off. So that's my steak. My tamarind steak has been cooked beautifully. I'm going to now serve this with some sticky rice and plantain. So here I have my plate with my coconut sticky rice and plantain. I'm now going to serve my steak on here. So there we have it guys. That's my tambourine ginger steak served with sticky coconut rice and plantain. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And also remember to turn your notification bells on. So you don't miss future videos when we do upload them. Thanks again for watching. Enough love.